and I'm like, oh my God, this this girl's a homosexual. Like she's literally just going from place to place to place to place to place. Oh, she the dog, I'm a thief, and she got that fire fiend. I'm all on it, but she bad. Rub her hair down to her ass. Call her on it, would you die? Would you slide for me? Just ride for me. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hey girl, my name is Coco Lolo Jazzy, or whatever you want to call me. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a like, comment, and every time the haters, welcome back, and thank you so much for coming back. Now. Once you subscribe to my channel, I expect you to come back every time. Every you know, no matter what I post, I expect you to come back every time. Even if I, even if I'm sleeping in the bed for 24 hours, I expect you to come back, show up, post comments every time. I that, I that's what I expect. That's what I expect. If you, if you if you can't do that, if you can't do that, you don't really like me for real. You don't really like me for real. Like like. If I'm trying on socks, you should be here like, yes, sis, stripe, polka dot. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what you're supposed to do. You know what they say? Anyways, hey, y'all. Um, you remember when I made the last story and I said, you bitches better not ever ask me to live with y'all with me ever again. Because ain't nobody ever staying with me ever again. I lied. You know, sometimes I be lying. Sometimes, and I'm not going to say it's a lie. Sometimes it's not like really me lying, like like purposely lying. It's just like some things be happening and it's like maybe I'm slightly a pushover. Maybe like it's hard for me to say no or maybe the person didn't really ask. So let me give y'all this step. If y'all been watching my channel, y'all know People always staying with me. People always living with me. I pick a person up and they don't ever want to leave. People come to my house and they just don't want to ever leave. Ever. So this time it was my sister's friend. So it wasn't even, even my house guest. It was my sister's friend. So am I drunk? Why did I just like... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got some, hold on. Okay, I live, hold on. I live right by a liquor store, right? How about I just walk to the liquor store to get this? Like like a wine or like a like a, 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 a real alcoholic. Because you know alcoholics, they don't ever be having no car or nothing. They be walking everywhere. They be, they be posted outside the gas station. I walked in the gas, uh, not the gas station, outside the liquor store. I walked in the, <laughs> in the liquor store looking, looking real auntie-ish. Got my liquor, walked back home like a true alky. Anyway, this is the pimp juice we got for today. It ain't no wine. Okay, so what I did was mix that with a little um, crayon strawberry. Crayon white strawberry. Anyways, who gives a damn? Um, where's my phone? Hold on. Okay, so if y'all know, my sister came here from Arizona to help me out with Cameron. And, you know, and she's been here since... November so she's been here since November and she didn't have any friends she didn't know anybody but she ended up getting a job like down the street and she met this girl y'all know my sister is a little stud and She met this girl at her job. I guess she started liking her or whatever. And they started hanging out. And, um, you know, da -da -da -da, fast forward down the line. One night, my sister uh, my sister was like, Ken, oh, we got to give Sus a name. We could call her Nunu. She was like, can Nunu stay the night? Because cause let me tell y'all this. I really, 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 really don't like people staying in my career, especially people that I don't know. It's hard to get rid of people, um, even people that you do know. I just, I, I'm just so tired and fed up with people staying with me. Like, I pay to be here sometimes. I don't be paying all the time, but I pay to be here for the most part. And, um... Yeah, so people, I don't, I don't want nobody invading my space or you know making me feel uncomfortable in my place or somebody that just don't want to fucking leave or you know, 
anyways fast forward one day one night my sister came with the girl because she would literally come over and they would sit outside because <laughs> because my sister already know how i am about having people in my crib i don't want nobody in here matter of fact matter of fact since i've been back home i need to sage my crib now that i'm thinking about it i i oh my god i haven't saged in so long anyway so my sister my sister knows like Nah, I don't want nobody in my crib, no. So they would sit outside, you know, in in the car or whatever. So um one night she came with the girl and was like, Oh, she's locked out. Can she spend a night? And I was like, Yeah, I guess. I guess. So she had no choice but to spend the night that night. So next day, cool, whatever. She, you know, didn't hear nothing else about her. Then like a week or a few weeks down the road, a couple weeks down the road, she, my sister was cleaning up the crib and everything, all uh, nice and neat. I'm like, what, what you cleaning up for? Because, you know, she don't really be cleaning up for real. So, she cleaned up all spotless, cleaned up the crib, and she, then she asked me, like, oh, I got to ask you something. I'm like, what? She like, can Nunu spend a night? And I'm like, Sure. Mind y'all, my sister came out here. She didn't have to come out here. She came out here solely just to help me. And I really appreciate that. And I don't want her to feel like I'm just, she's just, I don't want her to feel like, I don't want her to feel like she's just here to do things for me. And, you know, I can't do anything for her. Even though she stay here, you know, she don't pay no bill. Anyway, so I don't want her to feel like, it's just a one-sided thing. Like, she just helping me, helping me, helping me. And she's not getting anything out of it. She can't have company or whatever. So, I'm just like, yeah, sure. You know, I don't mind. So, boom. She spent the night. And then she also spent a few more nights. She also spent a few more nights. Not in, not at the same time. But, like, she would spend the night. She would go home. She would come back. Spend the night again, a couple nights down the road, and no big deal. I didn't really give a fuck. She was very sweet. She was very polite. She was stayed out the way, and I didn't think anything of it, so whatever. Next thing you know, she stayed the night, like, every night in a row. Boom, 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 boom. This night, that night, that night, that night. And I'm getting a little concerned. <laughs> I'm getting a slightly concerned. But at the same time, she's very quiet. She's out the way. She don't be, you know, you know, in my, she's out the way. So I'm not really, really worried about it. So then one day her spin a night bag got bigger. She had the spin a night bag, but she had a, like a big bag. And I was like, I wasn't spending a lot of time at home on top of that. So I'm out, I'm outside, you know, I'm running the streets. I'm not even really home like that. So I'm just like, whatever, 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 whatever. I'm really like, I kind of, I kind of see what's going on. But at the same time, I'm just like, I got shit going on myself. So I really don't give a fuck. So spin a night bag, got bigger, get, brought a bigger bag. Next thing you know, it's suitcases, more suitcases, more bags. And she's like moving in. And one day, I, like I told y'all, I wasn't at home a lot. I was, you know, don't worry about where I was at. Mind your business. But, um, so one time I came home and I was getting ready to cook, y'all. I had went grocery shopping. I had bought so much food for the crib. And I'm like, I'm ready to go home and cook. I bought some chicken. I was going to make some fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and something else. But so when I come home, and the chicken was cooked. The chicken that I bought was cooked. And I'm looking like, who the fuck cooked my chicken? And the potatoes. Matter of fact, it ain't even a chicken part. It's the potato part. I really wanted a baked potato. I said mashed potatoes, but I lied. I wanted a baked potato. I bought the potatoes to make baked potatoes. I wanted a loaded baked potato. I bought all the stuff to go with it. But at the same time, I was like, why am I getting upset? Because they're here 
I'm not even really here. So more than likely, if I wouldn't have come back, the food would have been bad. So all the I went grocery shopping for all this food. The food would have like somebody got to eat the food, you know. So I'm like, I shouldn't be upset about this because the food would have be probably be going to waste. But even though that day I really, really, really was coming to cook that chicken and that, and them potatoes. And like I said, I didn't say anything about this because I have. I had my reasons why I'm just like, ain't no reason to like get upset about this. But anyways, fast forward, girl cooked my chicken and my potatoes. I was kind of upset, but at the same time, I was like, I don't even really be home. So whatever. I can't really be mad, but I'm the type of person like, I noticed like some people would comment on my videos like, you scary. You don't be saying da, 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 da. Sometimes I'm not going, I'm not going to lie. I'm not scary at all. I'm not scary at all. I just know which battles to pick. Also, I'm the type of person that will let some shit build up, build up, build up until it's, it's very, very bad and I explode and attack your ass. So, okay, so that was the first strike, but like slightly a strike. We don't give it like a half of a strike because I was, I was upset, but not that upset. So, I had left and I was like, yeah, who gives a fuck? So, next, um... I was gone, I left, I came back home, and my air, I don't know about y'all, people hate this about me, that's why I'm glad people don't like, people don't like this and people won't like to come to my crib, but I keep my heat and my air on my heat, I keep it on 77, air, I keep it on 76, I like to be warm, I don't give a fuck about y'all, I don't care, so one day I came home and it was like 60, it was like 65 in here. It was like cold. It was an igloo. I was so mad. This is when I was like, nah, because I got to say something. And, 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 and the air wasn't on like out of, you know how like it'll turn off and turn on, turn off and turn on. The air was on, just on. So that bitch is running, 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 running. Mind you, I pay the bills. I pay all the, I, I pay all the bills around this bitch. Ain't nobody paying no bills with me. So, the air just running on and on and on and on and on. My light bill already high as the fuck. So, now I'm really mad. Now, okay, you, you ate the chicken, whatever, cool. You cooked my chicken, whatever. But touching my thermostat, now, now, now you got to be crazy. Now you got to be out your fucking mind. So, I'm like, don't touch the thermostat. Did, do what you do, but watch my thermostat. Don't touch my thermostat, cause this ain't that type of party. Especially if you, unless you got some money on the bills. I also said, I also came with my hand. I said, you got some money on the bills. Ah, oh, don't touch my thermostat. At this point, it's been like three weeks. Homegirl just been here for like three consecutive weeks. Ain't left, ain't did nothing, ain't offered nothing, but cooking my food and touching my thermostat. And at this point, I'm like, all right, I want her to go. So I'm telling them, like, I want her to go, I want her to go, I want her to go. My sister's like, you hurting her feelings, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a fuck. I want you to go. She packed all her bags up, and she was getting ready to go. At this point, she just started getting comfortable in my crib. Like, she would leave her lashes everywhere. She would just leave shit everywhere. One day, I came home, and her panties was at the front door. Her, her panties, inside of her pants was at the front door. And I was just like, enough is enough. This is trifling. I don't even leave my own panties at my front door. Like, you got your panties at my front door. That's really fucking disgusting. The panties at the front door, the bathroom was just trifling, nasty. And I'm just like, I'm not the most cleanliest, tidiest person. I'm not going to say that. I am a little bit messy. But I'm not really fucking disgusting. So, like, everywhere I turn, like, her shit is just everywhere. She cooking all the food, leaving food. Like, when I came back home one day, there was, like, pots of food with mold on them on the stove just sitting there, just sitting there, just sitting there. So, I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I just don't, like, I can't. What are you doing? What are you doing? It was just, like, the panties at the door. <laughs> the panties at the door that really just blew me like you could low key get away with anything else not the food on the stove bitch cause that's just fucking nasty the food was on the stove for I don't know how long bitch because 
it was mold. There was mold. And I wasn't here. So we, let's not say that I let the shit happen. Because I wasn't here. But there was mold on the food. Your panties was at the door. Your eyelashes just everywhere. Everywhere I turn walking, your eyelashes everywhere. What's going on, sis? You're getting comfortable. You're getting way too fucking comfortable. And I don't like this shit. You gotta get out. Sayonara. Sayonara. You gotta go. But this is when I was getting... <laughs> I'm a horrible person. So anyways, this is when I was getting ready to... We was all getting ready to go to Arizona. So uh, we was all getting ready to go back to Arizona for my mom's graduation. And I was like, we had Hazel, a puppy. And I was like, I don't want to... I mean, I can't leave the puppy here by herself, you know. And I don't got nobody else to watch her. So I was like, hey... You don't have to go, but if you want to stay, can you watch the dog? <laughs> can you watch the dog while we go on? And she was like, yeah, 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 of course, of course. She's, like I said, she's very, very sweet. She's very, very sweet. So um, she was like, yeah, of course. I was like, okay, yeah, you don't have to go then. So anyways, when we came back from Arizona, I was like, all right, well, well, I'd like to see you go. <laughs> thanks for thanks for pet sitting, but but yeah, I really want you to leave. But I didn't want to make it so obvious, like and then like why why I'm trying to tiptoe around shit. This my crib, bitch. This my crib. But I didn't want to make it obvious, like I used her to wash the dog, even though I did. She know I used her to wash the damn dog. So I was like, mm, I'm just let her stay for a little bit longer, you know, because whatever but then like in my mind i had started thinking like shoot she can stay because like i said i pay all the bills here so like me my sister and her we could be splitting the bills around here you feel me so i started in my mind like making this a good idea like shoot she can stay as long as she you know putting in on the bills anyways i guess my sister started putting in on bills, but uh, Nunu, she was like, no. Nah. She didn't say it to me, but I guess she was telling my sister, like, no, she's not putting in on no bills or, or whatever. I don't know what she was saying, but but I never seen no cash. So, like, I'm over here plotting, like, she about to get the fuck up out of here. So fast forward, we had, we we on like the next month at this point. So she's been here for almost like two months. So um, next month roll by and I guess her and my sister break up. So now she's leaving. She told my sister she needed space or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And my sister went and dropped her off somewhere and whatever. Okay, so next... My sister, she has a job and she works like weird, crazy hours. And Nunu, sometimes Nunu will babysit my daughter for me. And my daughter really likes her a lot. So I was like, uh, can you call Nunu and ask her if she could babysit? Because my sister was going to be at work. So I'm like, could you call Nunu to ask her if she would babysit? Because I had like a little date or something. That was literally just recent. I had a little date night. So... She was like, sure. And I paid her $100 to watch my daughter. I guess I leave. When I left here, my sister was still here. And she was here. And like I told y'all, they broke up. But but my sister was still here. She did, I guess she didn't go to work. And um, Nuna was here too. And... I guess they got into an argument or whatever, and my daughter said she was hiding in the bathroom. She was, like, she was scared or whatever, and Nunu left. And I'm calculating, when did she leave? Because I gave her $100 to stay here for this many hours. So, at what point did she leave, and is she going to get my money back? She finessed me. <laughs> she finessed me. She not give me my bread back. She left. She took my money. 
And she left. Like, oh my God, she was a con artist. So anyways, I guess um, somebody started calling my sister's phone, like back to back to back or whatever. And I guess it was some, some dude that she was talking to or staying with and i'm like oh my god this this girl's a homosexual like she's literally just going from place to place to place to place to place and like what and then the dude that was calling my sister was telling her that uh somebody busts his windows or something like we don't do that we didn't do that but I guess it was some other dude. So, she was talking to multiple people at the same time. She was really sweet, though. So, I could see it. Like, I could see her being, like, very charming and, you know, that shit happening. But, anyways, yes, a homosexual was staying with us. And she was, like, come on. It's me, Cameron. Okay, so that's my fast little story. That's it. That's all. You know, when I said nobody's ever going to stay with me, I lied. I really wish that nobody would ever stay with me. Cause it just I, it just never ends good. Like it's always some bullshit. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching and listening. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you come back and watch all the rest of my videos. There's a lot of videos, baby girls. So thank you so much. Mwah, mwah.